When in India, you have to try a buffet at least once. Therefore, I'm sharing this exclusive experience of the Sunday pool brunch at the Marriott Whitefield Hotel here in Bangalore. Every week, there's an incredible Indian food and Western food buffet. It costs 1,599 rupees plus taxes per person. This week, the Marriott Whitefield Sunday brunch was happening at the poolside, making it an even more relaxing experience. Hope you get inspired to try the Sunday brunch too. I can guarantee you will have have the most amazing sundae and a very full tummy because all the foods are so delicious. To see more of my videos in the future, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. You can also find more of my videos on foreigner travel in India, linked below. I'm going to show you the whole buffet and I can't wait to eat some food. So without further ado, let's go and eat my friends. This is a live grow counter with all kinds of meats. We have so many sausages over here and there's a barbecue over there with a beautiful Bangalore weather. This is such a treat. This is a sandwich counter where you can choose all kinds of fresh ingredients for that perfect sandwich. Different kinds of rolls, breads, everything freshly made for you. Moving on, we got potato ricotta and spinach gratin. Really nice. We have nochi trapanese. So I've been in Trapani and they have a special way of preparing nochi. Also very interested to try that. Tandoori soya chap. Oh my goodness. This is such a treat. So soya chap is originally from Delhi. And it's quite hard to find in Bangalore, but we have it here. And then Irani Mahi Tikka. Marinated fish cooked in tandoor with spices. How good does this look, guys? Peshawari Tamdi. Oh, that is a Punjabi word actually. Tamdi means chicken leg. Spicy chicken leg, this is. Looks really good. Then we have some. Oh, we have some satay. I'm guessing this is chicken satay. And over here we have a vegetarian variety, which is some kind of mushroom pie. We have a soup station over here with carrot and orange soup and chicken tom yum soup. This is the fresh salad station. We have all kinds of beautiful, beautiful fresh salad ingredients over here. We have sprouts, dressings, fresh tomatoes. Ooh. We have a pesto marinated vegetable salad, sweet chili marinated glass noodle salad. Wow, I haven't had that for a long time. Some grilled vegetables over here. We have pesto. I'm guessing this is mozzarella. It looks really, really yummy. Look at this cream over here. Oh, that looks so good. Then we have creamy mushroom and baked fish salad. Very original, actually. Oh, lots of cheeses. Do we have a dumb cheese? I think this is a dumb cheese. My Dutch heart is singing right now, yeah. This is Dutch cheese. Really nice. We have avocado prawn over here. And then we have chicken cheddar roulade. Squid stuffed spinach and couscous. What? That is so original. I haven't seen that in a buffet in India before. Bacon and fig skewer. We have all kinds of Arabic dishes over here. I'm guessing this is baba gandush. And then we have the salad over here with the fresh herbs. We have hummus over here. I'm guessing this is lebne. And that's a beautiful nuts here. Dried fruits, crackers. It will accompany your cheese, of course. Moving on, wow, nice entrees. Watermelon, dragon fruit, and feta. Vegetable tortilla wrap. Then we have garlic sauteed particle bean salad. Grilled cottage cheese and orange. Ooh, that looks so good. Grilled tomato, aubergine, and mozzarella. Chicken mortadella, which is basically a cold cut. And salami milano. I'm here with a friend, and as a non-veg, he definitely recommends all of the non-veg grilled stuff. I also have to say it looks absolutely grilled to perfection. Look at those prawns. Look at that golden chicken. That is amazing. But then moving on to the vegetarian stuff. First of all, it is beautifully presented. And then you have this beautiful paneer, the soy chop, the vegetable dishes. Yep, definitely gonna enjoy that. Of course, I have to start with that delicious, delicious tandoori chop. It's one of my favorite things. It is actually fake meat made from soya. It has a more firm texture than paneer. I absolutely love it. Mm, perfect 
tandoori flavor. Like a little bit spices, but also that charred grilled flavor. Really, really yummy. Let's get into the paneer. The delicious kadai paneer. It looks really yummy, but then we have to see if it is creamy, right? That's some soft, good paneer. Kadai paneer, I think, is more with, um, with peppers and those kind of things. Let me try one more bite. If I had made kadai paneer before, I would have known the ingredients. But it's quite a um, heavy flavor with the spices. And then that vegetable pie, cake, I guess. It's all layers of vegetables and I'm guessing some kind of pastry in between. But let's see. It's kind of like a moussaka, which is the Greek potato pie with layers of potatoes and then vegetables in between. Good job. That's yummy. Let me try all of these mushrooms. I don't know what it is. It looks like a layered, basically mushroom cake. Mm. It really has that smoky, meaty mushroom flavor. Super satisfying as a vegetarian, I have to say. We have sushis over here, which are kept chilled because we are outside. This looks really, really good and super, super fresh. Wow. Look at that perfect tuna and salmon. That looks amazing. Second round, of course, has to be sushi. And I got quite a lot of them. They have good vegetarian varieties. But let's start out with this interesting looking one. I think it's asparagus and carrots. Let's put some wasabi on there. Some soy sauce. I know you're not supposed to like completely dip it in the soy sauce, but I really like that. I like a lot of soy sauce. Mm. Mm. That is so yummy crunchy fresh the second one I want to try I think it has chives and it has spices all around it cucumber of course let's do this a little bit of wasabi dip it in the soy sauce oh. love 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 cucumber sushi so fresh the chives also add a little bit of onioniness in there onioniness <laughs> The live pasta counter. We have different varieties of pasta over here. Well, again, made freshly for you. It's delicious. The chat counter, of course, it has to be there. We have pani puri over here, kale, kachoris. Wow, that was so great. I got a kachori chat. <laughs> Usually I go for pani puri, but this time the kachori don't really good. The kachori is a fried dough ball filled with a spicy lentil curry, I guess. You can eat it like that, but usually it is eaten like chaat. It means that it's spiced up with uh, some extra chickpeas, some fresh tomatoes, fresh onions, sieve, which is some kind of crunchy chips, I would have to say. Then a little bit of yogurt, spicy sauce. It's a very satisfying snack. So good. We have curd rice over here, sikandri ral. Oh, I have never tried this before, but it is non-veg, unfortunately. It looks delicious though. Peking duck with assorted condiments. Well, the Peking duck is very popular because this is all what is left of it. We have curd chicken with root vegetables, sea bass with orange and cinnamon sauce. We have burnt garlic fried rice over here. Vegetable hakka noodles, one of my favorites. Garlic chili spicy chicken. Guna mm. gosht, mutton cooked with spices, guys. Look at this. If you love mutton, there you go. Freshly made. Then we have, oh, this is my thing, kadai paneer. Yes, definitely need to have some kadai paneer. Looks really, really yummy. Then we have Kashmiri Dum Alu. Looks amazing. So alu means potato. And Kashmir has a special way of preparing it. So definitely interested in trying that too. Then we have Avadi Vegetable Biryani. Yes, it's a real thing. I have a whole separate video about it. Veg biryani is real. 
And then we have Hyderabad chicken biryani. So for all your non-veg people, there you go. Steamed rice, just plain steamed rice, the perfect accompaniment to a lot of dishes. And we have Batwani. So this is tempered black soya bean. I've never tried that before. So definitely a couple of new dishes that I need to try. I got the main course. So I got trapeze and mochi. I got the Kashmiri Dam Alu, some rice, black soybeans, some Hakka noodles, and some curd rice. I am a massive curd rice fanatic. It may seem like a simple dish, oh, just mix some rice with curd. Curd is yogurt, in case you don't know. But the secret of a really good curd rice is in the tempering. And if that is not made well, then there's no point in eating a curd rice. Let's start with the Kashmiri Dam Alu. The gravy looks absolutely amazing. And it's baby potatoes in a in a Kashmiri gravy. Let's try it with some rice. Mm. Those baby potatoes are cooked to perfection. Really, really yummy. Going in for the black soybeans. That looks so interesting. Looks almost like rajma, but I don't think it's rajma. Mm. It has a very strong smoky barbecue flavor. Going in for the, <clears throat> the Hakka noodles. Hakka noodles, always good. Mm -hmm. And finally, that curd rice. Tempering looks good. Enough mustard seeds, some crunchy dal, and the pomegranates eat in there. Salt is also very, very important in curd rice. This one's good. Quite mild. Not like a heavy tempering, but mm -hmm. I approve. Some fresh foods because we're getting to the dessert section. We have two types of ice cream. I'm guessing it is mango and strawberry. You have the cones over here, some sprinkles, some sauces. I'm guessing this is mango sauce and chocolate sauce. Ooh, making some crepes. Yeah, looks amazing. <laughs> wow, that looks like a really, really good crepe. First Indian dessert, rasmalai. We have beautiful, beautiful frosted cupcakes over here. Chocolate cupcake over there. Honey mousse. Ooh, I haven't tried that ever in my life. Chocolate mango pastry. Red velvet cupcake. Yes. And this is pineapple upside down. And a beautiful, I'm guessing kind of a fig cake or just a vanilla cake. Looks amazing. Sasha torta. So chocolate cake. Key lime pie. You need to have that 100%. Almond glazed cake. Look how beautiful this looks. Wow, the presentation is amazing. Orange Tuscan cake and chocolate and coconut roulade. <gasps> Having that 100%. We have paisam over here. Trala cheesecake, which is with three types of milk with lots of delicious foods. We have a pineapple puff here, which is sugar free. We got some brownies over here. Baked cheesecake. Yes, please. Coconut and blueberry frangipan. And then what is this? I'm guessing red velvet cake. We got mandarin varin. And oh look at this beautiful, beautiful berry shoe bun. So shoe means puff pastry. Or kind of like a puff. Very, very excited to try this one. It looks amazing. Then we have another cake, but I cannot really see what kind of cake it is. It looks absolutely delicious and perfect. Peanut brownie, okay, you got me here. Peanuts and chocolate, one of my favorite combinations ever. And of course, of course, we have gulab jamun, which is the traditional Indian dessert and so delicious. It is a cake ball soaked in sugar syrup and it's absolutely delicious. Moving into the desserts, one of my favorite parts. Put a thumbs up if that's your favorite part of any buffet as well. <laughs> I have to try that coconut chocolate roulade. I think it's going to be the stuff that Raffaello dreams are made of. Hmm. It's cream, it's chocolate, it's cake, but I'm missing the coconut, I have to say. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. It's so good roulade. Going into that very buff Ooh, this is quite hard cut, I have to say. But there is this cream on the inside. Ooh, I'm very, very curious. Mm, wow. The outside, that red layer, that is kind of like concentrated raspberry. And then you have that shoe, the puff, which is really good. And you can taste it's freshly made because when it's not freshly made, it gets really hard. And then you have that cream, which makes the fruit flavor more milder. Ooh, that's really good. Wow, going in for that cake that I didn't know which cake it was, but it turns out it is carrot cake. The 
This carrot cake looks absolutely amazing. Mmm. The most amazing soft, spongy, juicy cake. It's not dry. There's a lot of cinnamon in there. Very mild hint of the carrot and then the cream. Damn, this is some good carrot cake. Wow. Moving on to the key lime pie. Usually I'm not very much a lime desserts kind of person, but my best friend Nadine is crazy about them. And I really learned to appreciate lemon cream. This one looks beautiful golden brown. Ooh, that cream is really, really good. And then we have some lemon cream in there. Mm. Everything about this cake is just perfectly executed. The thing is, I myself am not a huge fan of kind of like the biscuit pastry on the outside. I like it more soft. It doesn't taste eggy or anything, which is the number one fail that people can make. Really yummy. Moving on to the cheesecake, of course. Of course. It looks very, very creamy. Mm. Mm. You have two varieties of cheesecake. One is the more creamier kind, which is this one. And then you have the more hard cake type of cheesecake. I like both. As long as the flavor is good, it doesn't taste eggy. There's enough vanilla in there. Hint of lemon. Mm. Your girl's happy. Obviously, I'm going to have a couple more rounds of desserts specifically. For all the information about this brunch at Marriott Whitefield Bangalore, please check the link down in the description below. I absolutely enjoyed this brunch. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to put a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell icon to get the notifications. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Cheers.